I'm going to show you how to cut out patterns for your windscreen that will have the proper contour on the front if you want to get it pretty good on the inside the way this is going to work is very simple this uh, one inch insulation I got at Home Depot is going to be cut, you cut it with a an exacto knife there's going to be one on the bottom one on the top for now and it will be molded and contoured to the inside of this windscreen as they call it which will hold it in place now I'm going to show you how to do this first thing you need to do is find your center line on the um, on the windscreen and mark it use a black pen wherever that, my black pen went or just you know a pin and mark your center line okay everything is going to depend on the center you also want to mark the center line of your bike down here of your radiator and everything should go in because it's a 50 50 dichotomy one half is the same as the other half then what we do is measure all the way across here of course I'm going to use this rare American um, what do they call it? A, uh, it's not a ruler, it's a tape measure. This is made in I don't know, the 1950s before we had any kind of uh, metric. But what I like to do is this. Measure across the area which is going to be I'm going to have one windscreen or one partition right above the hole and one which I've already made right below the hole which is right there so in order to cut the insulation correctly and you can do it with a box knife it's called green guard thickness it says one half inch but it's not I don't know what that means you can get it in you can get it up to three inches thick if you want. It comes in like four by eight sheets. It's really cheap. It's really light. You can sand it. You can mold it. And it works great. So, what we want to do is go all the way across this one area where I want the pattern to go. What I've got is uh, about 14 inches right here. Okay? So I know my center line is going to be basically right from there. It's right, going to be right about 7. So what I did was I took a piece of cardboard like this. And I made, I've already been cutting on it. But I made sure it was 14 inches across. Okay. I made my center line right here. And this was a square piece of cardboard. Same with the lower piece. After I found the center line, the best way to do this is to use a straight edge or something and crease at the very center okay now watch this you crease this over okay now I know that the center line is right here the center line is exactly right there so I know what I'm trying to do is get a point between this hole all the way over to this edge because remember there's two halves here Okay. I leave this on the center line right here and I slowly start to cut with my scissors okay now with a contour like this it can be sloped the, uh, the top part right here can be not um, level okay that's where this comes in handy because you'll cut your small edge on the bottom but it cuts both of them the same exact way okay exactly the same and then when you put your your piece where you want it right here this is after I don't know cutting it five or ten times you can slowly as you cut one side you cut the other side at the same pace and you can make it fit underneath your windscreen. Now the back length here 
doesn't really matter because say the windscreen right here is going this is going to be the front we're, we're under the windscreen right now the bikes pointing forward all I want is this part correct and then I'm going to slowly cut out different pieces um, along the back to make it fit in the back of the um, the front cover right here you can see where I've cut out little holes for I gotta lift this up but I've cut out little holes for the um, the water lines and everything else that I want cut out I keep my my center line with this to here this center line to here and this center line right here to this uh, top fastener. Now you don't have to be perfect about this because you can take a little bit of sandpaper or whatever or an X-Acto knife. This stuff cuts with an X-Acto knife. Okay? And it, it can sand too. But the thing is it's nice. It's waterproof. I don't know if it's gas proof. But it's hard. It's a good subsurface. You can mold it. You don't have to um, uh, spend a lot of time doing it. And the nice thing about it is that once you get your pattern, like this is the top air dam or the bottom air dam pattern right here, which goes right here. Okay? We line up the center with the center, and you can see how well it fits. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to really be that perfect because I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm, I'm just kind of all uh, sanded down. But you take this, write down what it is, okay, and put it away. And five years from now, you may need another air dam, or you uh, you may you may need something else underneath this cover. Once once you have the the patterns made on cardboard, then you can just lay them on the insulation right here, uh, stencil them out, cut them, and you're done. Now, before you think cardboard is a bad stencil, remember, a lot of like bathroom floors or linoleum floors are all done with cardboard stencils. They, they map out the whole floor, the concrete floor, with stencils and tape, and then they'll lay it over the linoleum, the big 12 feet by 30 feet piece and then they'll just cut out that piece and it'll fit perfect so this is a great way of doing that remember this stuff is sold at Home Depot and you can glue it together if you want to it comes out easy goes in easy and can be adjusted easily and it can be made airtight it can be made perfect with minimal effort so that's the tip of the day for Honda Dio Radiator Air Dams 101.